So welcome everybody to our BNI Talks webinar. This week we're talking about summer games, socials, and business. And I have my special first time guest on the webinar, Angie Johnson Posey from BNI of the Ozarks. Angie, welcome to the webinar. Thank you so much, Steve. Making um, your debut. Yeah, making my big debut. So I Tell us am about in, yourself. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm the managing director for the Ozarks. I've actually done been B and I for 13 years and 11, getting to support our chapters. So what a blessing for me. Nice. Um, I have done just about every role, or at least taught it and learned it. And um, Visitor days are kind of something that I really like a lot. I love the fact that we get to bring folks in and love on them and show them how can we help you. So very excited about today's webinar. Excellent, excellent. So um, it's the summer. And, you know, one of the things that happens in the summer is I think we tend to coast a little bit. It's the summer. Everybody's on vacation. I'm not going to invite anybody to the meeting. I'm not going to I don't have to worry about referrals. Nobody's around, that kind of thing. Business is going to slow down. But you know what? Here's the thing that I've learned. Yep, some people are going to be on vacation, but they're not going to be on vacation for the entire summer. No. They, they will be back. So I think these are the things we hear, we hear the most. Whoops, went too far. Um, members aren't around. Schedules are different, right? And it, these are all true. They're rooted in truth but it doesn't change the fact that we're all working this summer, right? Yeah. No one's taking yeah. off the entire summer, maybe one person, I don't <laughs> know. but pretty much everybody's working. And I think, you know, uh, when we talk about, well, this is a good time to grow the group because we're doing some networking and some members are, are a little tired of inviting because we just got out of doing our better together days, visitors days, things like that. But, I say some members are tired of inviting because typically it's that old 80-20 rule. Not yeah. everybody is, in, is inviting. And so I think this is just the time to say, you know what, let's take uh, something that is, you know, a, thought to be a slow time and make it your busiest and best time. Agreed. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like around Christmas as well, when people don't have a meeting after Christmas. If I've been on vacation, I have probably spent a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I need referrals. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, you gotta I'm going to be back for my referrals and having some visitors in the room would even help grow my business. Mm -hmm. um, I think we also struggle with our children's schedules. Um, but, you know, you can have a fun time with your kids. Bring your kids to be and I have a junior entrepreneur day. And yeah. Bring your kids in to do your weekly presentation. They need to learn how to do business. That sounds like a really fun idea. It does. <laughs> yeah. So instead of coasting for the summer... Uh, as Zig Ziglar says, the only way to coast is downhill, right? It's really, it's really true. When you, when you coast, you always go down the hill. And um, the worst thing I can think of is asking the current leadership team at the end of their term, hey, it's September. We got to turn it on. They're yeah. tired. They've served you all year long. Or are you going to wait till October and ask a brand new team who's still mm -hmm. learning their, their roles to do it? Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't think we should coast in the summertime. I think it's a really bad idea for our chapters. And then it creates that roller coaster effect of having to really dig in and work hard rather than um, some sustained continued growth. It may be a little more difficult in the summer, but it's mm -hmm. not impossible. Definitely not. I think the summer is my favorite time of the year in BNI because it, it's got a different feel to it, yes. but you can do so much to kind of, make it uh, the best quarter of the year. I and agree. people are like, no, you can't do that. I'm like, but you can. And typically it starts with the BNI game. Yeah. So I'm curious in the chat, um, if you have played the BNI game, if you have not even heard of the BNI game, let us know uh, where you stand uh, uh, with this, this activity that you can do. Haven't heard of it. All right, Scott, you're in for a treat. We're gonna Never heard of it. Okay. Wow, wow. <laughs> What's going on? All right, we got at least a few. I have a feeling they may have played it and not known they were playing it, Steve. That's what it is. Oh, but somebody says it's a game changer to have that. Yeah, yeah. I definitely want to hear if you could put into the chat some of the successes you've had playing the game because yeah, that would be great. We'll talk, and while that's going on, let's explain it to those uh, who have never heard of the B Night game. 
So the BNI game is uh, happens when you kind of split the, the chapter up into teams. Now, depending on the size of your chapter, you may have a lot of teams or just a few. I wouldn't have more than say, what, eight people on a team, Max, Angie? Yeah, probably. yeah. 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 because you wanna make- Size that, of your chapter, obviously. Yeah, you wanna have good competition in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this scorecard uh, is something that you can uh, use to choose different aspects of your, your, your meeting that you wanna improve on. So let's say uh, in a case where you have a lateness problem. We got a, people swinging in a few minutes late, right? You uh -huh. get points if you show up on time. Or if you brought a visitor, right, for an open category, potential member, you get points. If you uh, bring in a referral, there's points. And if the referral closes, that be, that's uh, extra points for that one. If you're a chapter that really just needs to go back to basics and do some one-to-ones to get to know each other better, you've got that. So those are all added uh, points. And there's one column for subtracting and that is absent without a sub. Ooh. <laughs> and I love this because what we've seen with chapters who have played this game is that uh, the absences are not a problem because people yeah. either make sure that they've got a substitute or they just show up. Yeah. They don't want to let their teammates down. The thing that I love about this game, Steve, is that you can change these categories around to concentrate on an area where your chapter may not be at its best. Mm -hmm. um, so you have the ability to change that around and really make some change uh, in your chapters for those particular categories. So if you do have an absentee problem, it's a great to put a little more oomph on that particular category, give maybe extra points for that one. And you can really change. Did you see in the chat? Somebody said it boosted their chapter into a showcase chapter. Uh, amazing. Wow. Yeah, it really makes a huge, huge difference. And I think that, you know, the more you play it, the, the, the mm -hmm. better practiced you become at it. Yeah, we've even done as far as uh, have a special meeting after the meeting to do your recruitment. Pick captains and print them out their palms report so they can actually recruit and pick their team. Ah, okay. <laughs> I like that. You know, it's however creative you want to be with this yeah. um, is what matters because I think that there's this opportunity uh, to do something special for the chapter and have fun while you're doing it. You know, so you can do a little, you know, I, I know that there was one chapter that uh, kind of went out of their way to do uh, weekly bonus things. So like you'd have to meet at a certain place and get a photo together or you know, you do some volunteer work somewhere or something like that, uh, just to kind of spice it up and change it up. The one thing that I would suggest is not to let this game go on too long. You want yeah. to leave them wanting more. Yeah. Right? So it's saying uh, the game lasts up to eight weeks. And I think that that's okay. I would do like six weeks. Yeah. You know, Your keep it. Max should be so eight people weeks. are all in. Yeah. yeah. Right. You can even do it for four if you wanted to. Sure. Um, but uh, and it's fun. And this is something that usually you do right in the middle of the summer and then in the middle of the winter as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great way to, uh, to spark up uh, what's going on in the group. Absolutely. Um, okay, so let's see. Let's click past that. There we go. So other summer chapter events. And so I think, Angie, this is something that you've got lots of uh, experience in. So why don't you talk about this? Sure. So, um, you know, if you do have this issue with visitors saying no during the summertime, if you have that problem, um, why not make an opportunity to expand your networks and get the news of BNI is great for your business out there in your community more? So you can do um, have a teacher appreciation day. They're not they're not in school, so it's a great time to honor those teachers that take care of our babies all the time. Um, honor your first responders. Uh, have them come in. Uh, like this thing, a community leaders have a nonprofit day. Mm -hmm. um, we have really good uh, luck with um, evening socials, but we put a little ump on our evening socials. I had a chapter in Fort Smith just last week, had an evening social, 20 person chapter, over 100 visitors there. Wow. So I, you know, they're not all on vacation if there's over 100 people there. Yeah. Uh, and they do it 
casually, but they have a member that sponsors the drinks, one that sponsors the food. Um, they have a um, charity in their group that's a food bank. So they mm -hmm. have a food drive along with it. And then every single member gives a door prize for visitors. And even though it is a more casual social event, mm -hmm. the reason that it works for them, not during their chapter time, is because they actually are working hard at recruiting while they're in this event. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Yeah. 100 people. And it was a fabulous yeah. event. It even started a new chapter last year when we did it. And yeah. I anticipate our third chapter in Fort Smith to happen in the next couple of months because of what they did. It's pretty amazing. I'm wondering if, if any anyone else has had something like this, like an evening event that was not quite uh, an official BNI Visitors Day, but um, had the same kind of feel to it, where you're just meeting people in a kind of, and as you said, Angie, a uh, casual environment. Maybe you're mm -hmm. meeting at a bar or restaurant or something mm -hmm. like that, and you're just uh, kind of working the room and seeing you know, what people do and how you can help them. I want to share what Alan said here. He said, teacher appreciation is a game changer. As a retired teacher, he saw the value of the guest. One retired teacher as a guest had led over to $10,000 in closed business in his chapter. Amazing. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. You never so know. We say we can. We can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that this is something where we really need to look at what's something different we can do in the summer yeah. that's going to really put your chapter out into the community Absolutely. in a way that normally it doesn't get represented. Absolutely. I think that's that all those things help us to open up our networks and they help our local communities as well. Yep. Okay, I'm trying to hit the button and it's there we go. We can play right. with three buttons. <laughs> and so uh, and now something that's you know just a little bit more fun. Everything that you do does not have to be a working networking event. It can just be a social gathering especially after all the time that we've been online and haven't seen each other in person. Yeah, absolutely. I know we're lucky here in the Ozarks, we get to do the pilot program. So we get to open up earlier than everybody else. But I mm -hmm. know that the rest of the country has just opened up. Yeah. And so we're dying to see each other. And I don't know if we should be hugging next yet, but um, I got to hug next. So I miss seeing my folks out there. So summer is a great time to have these special events. That, and, you know, even though we may not be networking, we are still building relationships. And I think it's really wonderful to get to meet everyone's spouses and children when we get to do these kind of events. Um, spouses can be a fabulous referral source for you. They know people too. Mm -hmm. I know my husband's the best referral partner I have. He can out-refer me. Mm -hmm. uh, so getting to know those spouses and things is really good because they become an extended part of your sales team. But having a barbecue or a picnic you know, we have the, the Springfield Cardinals here. We have baseball, you know, socials where we all go and get a special prize. Um, I have a chapter member who has a big pontoon boot, boat. He invites all his chapter out to have a great lake day. You know, all of those things are great ideas. We have a little um, Rutledge Farms here in Springfield. So um, we go out there and do the animal petting and we can take our children to that and really see that. And here's a really fun one. We've had some and it'll help you get out your aggression as well. We've been known to throw axes, go to the axe throwing place and throw axes together. So that could be a real team builder, believe it or not. I thought that was the most ridiculous thing in the world. And then I went to an axe throwing night and I'm like, <laughs> we got to go back. <laughs> I see Becky Isbell throw axes, so look out. Yeah, I'm sure she's got a, a talent. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with axe throwing and wine? What could possibly go yeah, wrong Yeah, got to be careful with that. <laughs> Maybe uh, we should have Alan on as a guest. Yeah, yeah. This is, not just a, this is not just a bunch of people like throwing an axe at a tree. It's an actual yeah. deal. <laughs> that is monitored. Well, that's how we do it in Arkansas. We just throw axes at each other, but you know, yeah. we're good dodgers. Right. A, little, a little safer, unless you drop it on your foot, uh, Bubba and Allison suggest uh, a bowling night, which can be. Yeah, that's fun too. Um, and we would love your ideas as well. Um, I know that the ideas are unlimited. Um, have an outside B&I meeting. Yeah, yeah, we did that. I've done that before. Time. Yeah, we, uh, we, it's funny, it was one of those situations where we couldn't get into our venue that day, and mm -hmm. we were like, oh, I guess the meeting's canceled, and then they're like, it's so beautiful out today, though, you know, yeah. it was like spring morning, why not, we just kind of hung out right there uh, on yeah. the grass in the parking lot, and it was great. 
And what about an old-fashioned ice cream social in the middle of the summer? We're all hot. What's wrong with a good old-fashioned ice mm-hmm. cream social? You know, they have food trucks now that provide those kind of things. Really easy to bring somebody to a park or something and have an ice cream social with all your members. That's a great idea. I love that. Not mine. I'll give Merle credit for that one. Yeah. And wow. I've had fabi- I, the best one-to-one I ever had, Steve, was on the beach in Costa Rica. Oh, all right. Yes. Tell me about that. So, so, yeah, I mean, a girlfriend went, went, a teammate went, my closest referral partner, and we came up with some new strategies, I guess, just because our minds were opened up while we were on vacation together. Uh-huh. And um, we really came up with some awesome strategies where we came home, we just kicked tail on passing referrals to each other over our strategy. Oh, so amazing. Um, there's no place you can't have one, and there's no reason you can't have special events during the summertime. Uh-huh. Yeah. I like Alan's idea of a silent auction uh-huh. these days as well. Very nice. Yeah. Collect collect funds too while you're doing these kind of things for your local charities and give back to your communities as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think these are uh, really good, fun ideas. Why not think about it in terms of, you know, how are we going to promote our chapter, grow it, get more business, and have fun while doing it? Start mm-hmm. with that kind of an attitude, and you're going to yeah. get a lot more buy-in rather than saying you know, let's have a visitor day, you know? Exactly, exactly. It's all You, you it's never all can tell how a special event is going to influence your community to know more about b as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. and by the way, following it up with some sort of a press release to your local news outlet mm-hmm. is another way to, to promote your chapter. So there's lots of different ways that you can uh, get the word, of, word out about your group and, uh, and have some success with it as well. Absolutely. One of the things I want to talk about was uh, the BNI Foundation. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and and the, specifically Business Voices, which is kind of a subset. And so Business Voices has been around for a few years. It was started by Beth Meisner. Mm-hmm. And uh, she created this to serve children in need, right? This was all about the kids. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so it's interesting if you read that little uh, red box there. Yeah. Uh, that this isn't really about, you know, donating things that you would think would be, um, you know, stuff that's needed by schools like books and things. Instead, it's like the basic school supplies, or sometimes it's coats and socks and things like that, depending on your school. And what I love about this uh, Business Voices is that you can do something in your local community right, under the umbrella of BNI Foundation and Business Voices, so your chapter's represented. Correct. And, and do something for people that, or schools that, you're, that you interact with in your own community. And I think that makes it more special. Sometimes we have fundraisers and money kind of goes away and you feel good for donating, but you don't really know what happens. Yeah. You know, so to do I, something like I actually like love this. what Dr. Meisner says about this, and it really had a huge impact on me with Business Voices, and I actually became a monthly donor because of it. He says that, you know, t- children are only 20% of our population, but they are 100% of our, of our future. Yeah. yeah. We, we have to be good mentors to our children. And if we're not helping those who are especially in need, um, you know, what are we doing in our community? Yeah. So we're, we're actually just starting with baby steps here in the Ozarks to start business voices with the BNI Foundation. But we're very excited to be a part of that and be able to give that back to our community. Yeah, absolutely. I think this is the best time to do it in the summer because this is a time for you to get active, to figure out what you're going to do, to donate, uh, reach out to the local schools and let them know you want to do this. And by the way, it doesn't necessarily have to be a school. Like I know that we had done a backpack drive for uh, boys and girls clubs. Yeah. You know, and that works as well. We're just taking care of the kids, you know. Um, Shirley writes that uh, they did a a book drive. for my children's hospital in Ann Arbor. And that's fantastic. That is. One of the things that I loved about talking to the folks from the foundation was they have some great ideas for how to give back to your community without Uh spending a dime. Yeah. And they had some fabulous ideas that they shared with us, how they use cold cash to get kids socks and underwear. Um, When we went online, one of the schools, one of the schools for homeless children didn't have any computers. So everybody donated all their old computers and laptops and yeah. tablets and somebody in the chapter wiped them all clean and we were able to give those. So 
didn't cost the members anything to do, but great yeah. give backs to their community. Yeah, that's amazing. I know we have, I, I've got like an old iPad around here that I don't use anymore and stuff like yeah. that. I'm not, right? I think we all have something like that sitting in our uh -huh. closet somewhere that we may not have a use for it, but there's a child out there who could use it. Yeah. So here, whoops. Uh-oh. Went too far. <laughs> there we go. Uh, here are some photos of uh, B&I chapters that uh, did some donations in different ones, like the one, um, the chapter in Manhattan that did operation, worked with Operation Backpack, and they did a huge uh, drive. Mm -hmm. uh, a big chapter and they uh, brought a ton of backpacks to kids. Um, school supplies are always great. The, uh, the one at the bottom there was uh, Fill My Ride is what they were calling it, where a car would drive around and, uh, and pick up all of these great uh, supplies okay. for kids. Yeah. So lots of different fun things that you can do uh, and then follow it up. And by the way, you can, uh, if you do something like that, Send that information to me, and I'll put it in SuccessNet. Absolutely. Get it out to you know a quarter of a million people to get your chapter in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. um, or you know we can do it. Uh, you know we can have a webinar on it. Um, lots of different ways that we can promote your chapter uh, once you complete some of these things. And I'm curious if anyone has any ideas on what they want to do for their chapter, since we're kind of at the end of slides here. Uh, yeah. What will you do? Do you want to do a donation? Do you want to do the BNI game? What are you going to do to promote your chapter this summer and get some some business going? Yeah, we recently had, I've been really bragging on one of my coaches here in the Ozarks about doing what we call the dragon boat races down in Arkansas and Little Rock. It uh -huh. benefited the Children's Protection Agency. And um, he got very involved in it. He brought other chapters in. It set up a great opportunity for them to give back to their community as well as new networking opportunities for them. Oh, that and was Jay, right? It was Jay Lucas that did that, yeah. yeah. And he just did an awesome job. He even reached out to Graham, who gave him a donation that put him over the top. I thought so that was amazing. I thought that was fabulous, and I was so proud of, of Jay. Look, there, uh, there's one of my folks telling how much fun they had the Dragon Boat races. And they even, I think, won one of the races, and I believe – Jay won third place as the drum master. So you never can tell yeah, he, what will happen. He was in full regalia for sure. He was. He was. <laughs> I did see a question in here, Steve. Yep. Uh, how do we pitch to a firefighter or a retired teacher to come into BNI meetings? Business owners don't want to come to BNI meetings or say yes and then don't show up. Um, I actually think that talking to those kind of organizations and asking them, we want you to come in and tell us what you need. Mm -hmm. What does your organization need? Um, we have, you know, 30, 40, 50 pro professionals that would love to help the local community, but we don't know what the fire department needs. We don't know what the police department needs that's not provided to them. So I think that if you offer that to them, that we want you to come in and tell us what your needs are they're going to be wanting to come and, and share that so that they can get your, you on board with their organization. Right. And also, you know, if it's someone who's already retired, you've got a better shot at getting them than someone who's not. Absolutely. Absolutely. They're typically happy to, to help with that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, I'm going to take a quick look at the um, chat here. Uh, Charles says, I would love for our chapter to raise money for students who do not have school supplies or clothes. You could do that, Cheryl, or you can just get the school supplies, have them bring in supplies uh, and deliver them right to the school. They would love to see that. Yeah. yeah. Never seen anybody say no to that. Yeah. You know, the best thing is always to get in touch, though, with uh, the school or the organization and say, hey, we want to do something for you. Uh, have some sort of a, a fundraiser or drive that we can do to donate. Uh, how can we help? What's the one thing you need the most? Absolutely. Yeah. Because, because it might be help. something like like socks and shoes is what, yeah. what yeah. we're hearing a lot of times. Yeah, yeah. that's what uh, the BNI Foundation used the Kohl's cash for was to buy socks and underwear. Yeah. yeah. So those things are important too. And we, we never sometimes realize what other people's needs are. Yeah. Uh, by the way, food pantries are always in need. So that's a good thing to do, to have a, a food drive. And you can do something mm -hmm. in your chapter. I know we've, we've done it in the past where you would bring in like a canned item 
or a boxed item and you would talk about it uh, yeah. you know, as it relates to your business. Uh, and then at the end of the meeting, they collected everything and dropped it off at the local food pantry. So stuff like that is always a good way to uh, keep your chapter engaged. Um, yeah. and, and also when you're giving them a little bit of homework, so it's like, you know, bring in, bring in a non-perishable item and then work it into your weekly presentation. Yeah. They're going to spend a little bit more time getting creative and those are always more fun. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. I saw there, uh, I saw something in the chat I wanted to share. I like collecting blankets and stuffed animals. I remember we used to have to do that for American Red Cross to collect mm -hmm. teddy bears for them. Um, yep. I love that idea. But yeah. and I saw uh, going to career days where BNI members actually share their professions with students. Mm -hmm. yep. that's, a, that's an opportunity that we like to create with the BNI Foundation with Business Voices. Yep. Um, because we would, whenever we help them, we would like to talk to them about, um, you know, career or careers. And, you know, I mean, college is great. Maybe not for everybody. Maybe uh, mention to them that trade school is a good thing, too. Absolutely. But we do like to get that opportunity to speak to schools when we get back to them. That's great. And uh, Brittany um, is being very generous here. She says, uh, I would love for us to do a group chat or WhatsApp with all of us in it and spitball ideas. Uh, and so she kind of, uh, if you find her in great. the chat, 1220 there, uh, she's got her number out there and you can, uh, maybe come up with some really cool ideas. Try awesome. something new, get your chapter like reinvigorated, especially yeah. in the summer, right? Uh, you could do some amazing things that are going to carry over into the fall. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you could even have theme days in the chapter. Um, Brittany, go on BNI members Facebook page and put that out there for them. That'd be a great place to get your audience. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, great absolutely. place. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Tina says, support your community emergency response teams. They are right. voluntary. Oh, and wow. Yes. Yeah. Emergency yeah. supplies. Yeah. That's something that uh, I did not uh, realize is that, you know, it's not just I always think of like, who needs, uh, you know, donations like that? It's a food pantry. Maybe it's like an animal shelter or something like that. But yeah, something like an emergency response team is fantastic uh, to think about. And of course, keeping the kids in mind as well. Yeah. And ask, ask your chapter members. They may have somebody that's, that's there. They know of a need. So ask your chapter members if they know of needs before you just start hunting one. Um, yeah. That'll be special to your group. Yeah, absolutely. I think that um, when when we're we're focused on this kind of stuff, it's kind of like it 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 makes you want to give more, and it kind of sets something up as a precedent. Like we were doing um, last year, we did our first uh, Toys for Tots through B and I, uh -huh. we had a huge response from, which was great, and uh, and it was like everyone who was done was like, we need to do this every year and make it a tradition. And people are already talking to Michelle Campo about that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's great. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Taylor says we are in talks with a local food bank. And whoops, I lost it because the thing moved. Um, okay. Uh, the local disadvantaged kids nonprofit. We're also joining a local small business directi directory focusing on the regional business community and local events. That I love is finding a place for you to be found uh, and showing that you're you're here to give. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. All right, donations of used clean clothes are always welcomed at schools. It's surprising how many kids do not have clothes for school. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's a great way to help. You know, and the thing is that, you know, as I mentioned earlier, you're going to help a school that you already know. Mm -hmm. that maybe your kids went to or, you know, it's just a nearby place that, uh, you know, is known to have kids that are less privileged than you. Yeah, I saw the rallying for disaster response to then that's huge. You know, we had that huge tornado in Joplin. And when we had a little bitty tornado here in, in Springfield, yeah. my Joplin chamber, my Joplin members called and said, how can we help them? Right, right. Because we've been through it. We understand it. And chapters even wrote checks. So at, at responding to local emergencies, too, is always a great thing for us to do. Yeah, I think that uh, and, and the more that you get into it, from the chapter perspective, it, the more it becomes part of the chapter culture and it's something that they expect to do. 
Yeah. So this is like that you could be planting seeds this summer so that by the time next summer comes around, people will be talking about it in the spring. Like, what are we going to do this summer? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And that, that just makes the chapter busier and, and doing more. And, and in the end, of course, making more business for each other. Sure. All right, uh, I think we are at the end here. Any final words, Angie? Uh, just uh, have a great summer, have a great uh, contest or social, mm -hmm. and have a great time this summer. Don't, don't, don't put can't in your words. You can invite visitors. Remember, over 100 visitors the other night. Yeah, 100 visitors to one event is amazing. That's a, yeah. definitely a group that's uh, excited about uh, you know, kind of showing off a little bit. I love it yeah. when people come to my, my uh, a chapter and they say, hey, you know what? Uh, we're looking forward to meet people because we've got so much to offer. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, so next week, we are putting a spotlight on a chapter. Oh. In, yeah, in Middletown, Delaware. Do you know where that is? I don't know. I've never been to Delaware. However, mm -hmm. this chapter uh, does some out-of-the-box thinking has had a lot of success. Uh, and if you are on a leadership team, you're going to want to make sure that you go to this one. Uh, of course, I'll send out the email reminder. You've already got it in your inbox right now, but and it's on your calendars as well. So uh, sign up for that one for next week. Lots of good stuff coming on. We're also talking about uh, nonprofits uh, as, as related to your business with Jenny Butts on uh, July 22nd. And then July 29th is using LinkedIn to grow your business. The most requested uh, one we've had. So I think we're going to really? have capacity at that one. Yeah. Social media okay. gets a lot you of You guys better sign up for that one early. Sounds Definitely. like Steve's going to max out on that one. It will max out for sure. Yeah. Good. So, good. All right. So thanks uh, again, Angie, for being on today. It was great to have you. Thanks for having and, me. Uh, hopefully this will not be your, your only time on here. We'll have <laughs> you back again. That'll be great. Be glad. And everyone give yourselves to CEU and we'll see you all next week.